59. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, you can come over to our website. It's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website. You go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side, second one down, the opening call. You can get that for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil just did an outstanding workshop for his subscribers, which is still right on that page. So when you get the newsletter, folks, you're going to get the current workshop. You're going to get the other uh, archives that he did out there. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you for some reason, 29 days from now, you can cancel that uh, newsletter. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. I'm pleased to hear that uh, there's a, a better chance that you might be missed. Let's hope that's the case. Yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, living in Florida, we're always so lucky where we are. It's, it's, it's if, if you look at the makeup where we are, folks, all right, we're right in the middle of the West Coast, and it's pretty hard to get hit. And thank you, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you it's know, the, we're, 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 we're pretty far out of it right now, so it is pretty cool. The, the poor people up at the Panhandle, man, that's just a never-ending deal, man. Oh, yeah. it's terrible. It really, it really is. is. Terrible. You yeah. know? So... What are yeah, we going to look so, at out here? So there, let's do a couple of things. It's kind of an important period because uh, we've been looking at the Dow since that August the 1st high. We were fortunate enough and able to short it right there. We're still actually short. We anticipated based on this trend line, this pink, and this is what I discussed in the webinar, how you can draw these uh, trend lines, how you can draw these price uh, match where you can go the number of bars on the left equal the number of bars on the right. It's bar symmetry. It gives you good support, a good resistance. I'll show you that in the dollar in a moment. But it held this inside wedge target support line. And I said to subscribers, that, be prepared that there should be quite a nice bounce. And that's really what we're looking at here. Um, I'm looking to see just how far in the, between now and uh, tomorrow, uh, as we get to the end of the month, how the where this goes and how the technicals improve. If they improve enough, then we might have seen not just a low, but the low that says we can go quite a bit higher. At the moment, I still think it's a low and that we should be doing some downside, <clears throat> excuse me, testing over the next week. But if you look at the SMH, which is a semi, which we've had really nice profits on the downside, uh, which we shorted, and we also had the three times short, that we're out of altogether at this particular point. A very nice move here. And what I've been saying all the time for weeks now <clears throat> is that the, the weekly charts in all the indices have been very strong. I didn't even get a sell signal on the, on the declines that we saw just recently. And that to me says that the larger tide is still rising. The shorter tide is, is declining, the little rip tides and that. But basically, we've been in a daily sell mode. And now we're going to see if we're going to come out of that. What happens next? But I wanted to mention the dollar. <clears throat> There's a, a technique that I used that I was mentioning just earlier on this bar symmetry. I don't know how markets do this, but it's just fascinating. Look, there was a high back in, uh, in May, the 31st of May, when the dollar index on 104.79. It came down sharply, made this H pattern that I'm always talking about, the dreaded H, failed, and it went down very sharply to the low in the 99s. And then it started to rally, and I drew in a midpoint that said from this left side in May to the low that was made in July, there might be an equal number of bars to the upside. And if that's the case, we've got to follow this 914 period moving average to see how it continues to hold. Well, it went to within pennies, and, and one day before this price, actually two days before the price symmetry, so it went to 104.45. I mean, I don't know how markets actually figure that out. Look, the previous high was 104.70, and it went to 25 cents under that. And now it's starting to turn down. But I just wanted to show this as well. The technique that I use for the Dow to be able to get that turn, you can see here in the dollar that the nine period moving average is still much higher than the 14. 
So I think it's going to be a work in progress on the, on to see how it's either speed, and that means tomorrow the dollar just gets slammed and it really plunges sharply, or it's a process. The pro we saw a process in the Dow. Let me, oops, let me just go back there to show you this particular technique. In the Dow, here it is, how it took so much time for that nine period to turn pink to go under the 14. Yeah, so, you know, you know um, what's interesting, Basil, is that yeah. the Dow itself is a lot weaker than the, the S&P or the NASDAQ. I mean, so because me the, both of those you have, you know, already come up to the, you know, trading day of the, what, the fourth or something. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, so let me just show you something here. Look, here's the pink nine period moving average. It's within a hair of crossing positive, and the price is moving very nicely. And you're correct about the Qs. So the Dow is the weaker one. So using the same technique, and if I had to go to gold, you'll see that gold right now is kind of on the cusp of crossing positive. So uh, I like to use this indicator as kind of a trend. It's not where you get the turns. I use other techniques to get the actual turns. So to sum up, the dollar is having a really strong move. There's a, a technique that I call this is a cha inverted Chapman wave Roman candle. Not exactly right because I prefer that the body of the candle is a half to three quarters away from the wick, either on the upside or the downside. This is a little bit more than half. But I got a technique that says that within two sessions, if the dollar is trading above 104.20 for about 90 minutes, there's a chance that it could retest uh, today's high. If in the next two days it starts to close below today's low, we don't know what it is because the market hasn't closed, but so far the low is uh, 103.50, you've got to be careful. You've got to start looking at the lower levels, and that 200 period moving average is at 103.20. So it's a work in progress, but it's achieved. Uh, we are, we've are we been long the dollar for a very long time. The UUP did a one to one to that's the dollar power shares DB US dollar bull. Um, that went in a beautiful one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. Plus, I'll do this in my show tomorrow to show people who are listening. There was a falling axe expansion. There was an ins a Chapman wave. Um, uh, in, this is the peak D. Instant restart goes to another peak A, B, C, and a D. It just did that today. So it's accomplished everything that it needs to. But as I say, the technicals are still pretty strong, and the stochastic is flat at 86%. So that says to me that there's still internal strength in the dollar unless it just gets smashed to the downside. And actually, if you look at the EUR, USD, you'll see they did exactly EUR, USD, when you do these, these too quickly. It hit exactly, look, here's this pr price symmetry of this arch formation, and it held the 200 period moving average. The nine hasn't crossed positive yet, so it's kind of lagging, but it's got a nice bounce off the 200 period moving average, which it hadn't been to uh, since the lows in June. And folks, it's very easy to get Bowser's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN, hit newsletters. You're going to see on the left hand side, second one down. You hit that baby, and you are off to the races. Basil, you have a great night, a safe night, and of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We have the Dow up 269, NASDAQ's up 253, S&Ps are up 63. We'll come right back. With rising inflation, rocketing interest rates, a volatile dollar, an uncertain market, there's an asset that all traders fuck back to, gold.